Marvel, I got some bad news for you. And that is the latest test screenings for Captain America 4 Brave New World, formerly Captain America 4 New World Order, um, hasn't gone so well. So, got a couple different articles here. Uh, one is from That Park Place. Check him out. John F. Trent, check out his work. Does an excellent job over there at That Park Place. Uh, the other article is from comicbookmovie.com and Mark Cassidy. Check, be sure to check these guys out. But here we go. Captain America Brave New World reportedly awful after test screening. Uh-oh. I mean, this movie just went through a bunch of reshoots. In fact, they, they practically reshot the entire movie because the first round of test screenings were awful. I, evidently, it didn't get much better on the second go around. Uh, rumor claims that Marvel Studios' upcoming film, Captain America Brave New World, is quote unquote awful following recent test screenings. The rumor comes from Scooper My Time to Shine Hello on X. He wrote, just heard back from like three people who went to see Captain America Brave New World test screening, and woof, movie sounds awful. That's not a good sign with these big budget movies that they keep putting out with budgets of $200 million and then doing reshoots and upping the budget, not to mention marketing. These movies don't have a chance to make money, especially with people not going to movies like they used to pre-pandemic. I mean, the budgets for these movies need to be somewhere, in my opinion, Around $100 million. That's my opinion. You can agree with me on that, disagree with me on that in the comment section down below. Oh, and by the way, if you would, please, just as an aside, a uh, couple things you can do to support the channel. If you would, please give me a thumbs up, smash that like button. That uh, helps let YouTube know that, hey, we're interested in this content, which I hope you guys are. Uh, the second thing you can do is, um, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. So, back to the show. It was also previously reported that Jordan Rumi of World of Real wrote two different cuts of the film test screen last week. The person who attended didn't seem to like the movie all that much. The reactions I've heard have not been very kind to this movie, which is being described as inessential and flat. Well, all I got to say is you put out a Captain America movie without Steve Rogers. I mean, there you go. Steve Rogers is Captain America. Black, uh, Falcon, I almost said Black Falcon, Captain America. Uh, Falcon is a really good character in the comic books, but he's not Captain America, even though in the comics he did get the mantle of Captain America. Um, my opinion in all this is they were setting this up for Bucky to take the mantle of Captain America. And for those of you that watched Avengers Endgame, the end of the movie, it all looked like it was going to be Bucky getting the shield and getting the... The, the rub, so to speak, from Cap to say, hey, it's your turn. Take the mantle. But instead, they had to do that little pot twist and give it to Sam Wilson instead. So now you have Captain America 4 without Steve Rogers, Captain America. It's kind of like, um, I don't know, Peter Parker is Spider-Man and Miles Morales is Miles Morales. Kind of the same thing. Steve Rogers is Captain America. Sam Wilson is the Falcon. The test screening appears to have taken place following significant reshoots for the film that were initially rumored to last anywhere between three months and 22 days. I would have flipped those two numbers in the article, but that's just a little nitpick. It was initially reported by Scooper Daniel RPK that 
or via Marvel Film News in January that the film would undergo research, reshoots from May until August. And apparently those reshoots haven't made the movie any better. Um, Hollywood reporters Boris Kitt reported at the end of May that the reshoots would last 22 days and would include the introduction of Giancarlo Esposito's new villain character. Do we even know the name of his character yet? Just curious. Maybe. Uh, Tim Blake Nelson, who would play the leader in the film, revealed he shot the entire movie twice. He told The Hollywood Reporter in September, well, we're done. I've shot it. I've actually shot it twice because I did it originally over a year ago, and then we came back and redid a lot of it at the beginning of, of the summer. Uh, Anthony Mackie, who plays Falcon, Sam Wilson, Black Falcon, Captain America, had previously downplayed the significance of the reshoots, telling Radio Times, we shot the next film, and now because we had this big strike, it kind of delayed everything. So now we're going to do our reshoots, which isn't a big deal. Evidently, it is a big deal because people aren't liking the reshoots. So every Marvel movie I've done is done between six weeks and three months of reshoots. It's just how it works. All these big budget superhero movies, all of them do reshoots, which keep in mind when they do reshoots, that budget number goes up. When we did Endgame, we did like three months of reshoots. So it's always a thing where you shoot what you have, get it in the editing, see what you got. Then you come back and you make it better. Or in this case, you don't make it better at all. You make it possibly worse. That's just the way the process works. Um, rumor for, from... Oh, how I marvel at those marvels claim previous test screenings for the film did not impress audiences. Thus, the reason why they had to do these reshoots. The user shared information about those test screenings. I've been able to get some insight into what some of the main issues were at the Captain America Brave New World test screenings. Apparently, audiences were unimpressed by the film's action scenes and chemistry between Cap and his love interest. There's a love interest in this movie, too. Um, not only did audiences find that the action scenes and the chemistry between Falcon and his love is interest impressive, but they found the movie's political intrigue uninspired and, uh, and unengaging. However, the biggest issue was how audiences responded to the film's political content might think this mean audiences found it divisive, but it actually was worse than that. They found it boring. Boring? Boring, you say? How about let's leave out the political stuff and let's just film an entertaining movie? Just a thought, Marvel, Disney. I'm told the overall feel was that the political material was uninspired and unengaging, that audiences found it lacked nuance, was overly expository, and really slowed the movie down. I'm also told that while the three sequences that will be removed were a big part of the problem. Okay, that's from that park place. Let's take a look at what they have to say over a comic book movie real quick. Uh, additional photography took over a four-month period, May through August. Marvel enlisting Moon, Wright, Moon Knight writer Matthew Orton to pin new scenes and material for the film. Reshoots are the norm. We've already gone over that. But a significant period of the AP led to speculation that the studio must be making some major changes to the story. Uh, doesn't really get too much in here as far as the detail of the reshoots. But some of the comments over here, let's first, let's go back over here real quick. Comments over at comicbookmovie.com. No interest in Captain Falcon. So they're trying to emulate the feeling of Winter Soldier with a mediocre movie. I'm utterly surprised. <laughs> I thought Marvel was over this hump. Oh, well. Problem is too many people are so weak-minded that allow other people's opinion to help form their own opinion. Even back in the day of Siskel and Ebert, some of you may be too young to know them. I'm not too young to know them. I, I actually like Siskel and Ebert. 
I would never re rely on what they what they thought of a movie. I would go see it for myself. If it was good, great. If it was bad, at least I gave it a shot. In my opinion, too many people who claim to be influencers give bad reviews just to get hits on their social media. And that may be a cause of a movie bombing at the box office. No, it's not influencers making movies bomb at the box office. I would disagree with that. It's word of mouth. I mean, I'm not afraid to say something's good. I'm not afraid to say something's bad. Doesn't make any difference to me. All I want to do is, is throw my hat into the ring and put my voice out there to say, hey, Hollywood. Let's come up with some original ideas. And let's just put out stuff that's entertaining. It doesn't always have to be about the message. And as for Marvel, hey, Marvel, you got, what, 80, 90 years worth of source material? Just follow the source material. That's all you got to do. You don't have to reinvent the wheel. You don't have to make these movies for the modern audience. And if you just follow the source material, guess what? When people see these movies being test screened, they won't think that they're boring, uninspired, insipid, just flat out crap. So there you go. There's my two cents. Just letting you guys know that Marvel, you got a problem on your hands again with Captain America 4 Brave New World. So what do you guys think? Comment down below. Is this something you guys are looking to go out and see when it comes out next, uh, I think it's February? Or are you just going to wait for it to hit streaming? Let me know in the comments. While you're at it, please take the time to uh, give me a thumbs up. Smash that like button. If you like the things that I'm covering, everything from pop culture, entertainment, Hollywood, to even sports. Um, that's the best way to show YouTube that you guys like what I'm putting out. Uh, again, if you're new here, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you for watching, each and every one of you. Um, hit that notification bell. And with that, I will see you guys.